G'day team. Here in Australia with our seafood, we are spoilt beyond recognition. We've got so many different flavours coming directly from the ocean. And if you have a look at some of those international cookbooks, you look at the fish on the front cover, they've made it look a million bucks, and you look at it and think, oh wow, that's really not what I'm gonna be eating, but it is. In fact, you'll find it stuff like this, the humble old goat fish, or even these particular fish. There's a whole variety of fish out there that you can eat that we have on our back doorstep. Yes, right here in good old fashioned Oz. Let's we'll start with the pili. Yep, great for bait, but you know you can eat these and they taste quite well. Real strong, oily kind of a meat to them, but you take out the guts and you can deep fry those and then even, even eat the bones in it. They come up quite crispy. Fish that you mightn't see too often, but your bottom dwellers. Big giant spines, so you want to be careful when you're cleaning these, but you can imagine the white flesh on this would be absolutely succulent. Also, if we're having a look at these, little pinkies, or very similar to a whip tail on the back end. Again, nice and white on the fillet, and it's the same with your goatfish. In fact, with your goatfish overseas, they're more commonly known as the red mullet. These are the silver biddies. We catch a lot of these. I find these to be fantastic live bait. Great for jewies, great for mangrove jacks, and yes, great on the palate, believe it or not. All you have to do there is take the scales off, like so, and then you can just either gut them, peel them, whatever you like to do, and deep fry them. Put them in a little bit of flour, if you like, straight into the pan, and they'll come up an absolute treat. In fact, some of the fish that you may never have eaten before will certainly surprise you. A fish that a lot of anglers don't really like too much catching because they, t they bite off your tackle, your swivel, your hooks, your sinkers, are the leather jackets, but they are great to eat. I love eating leather jackets, a beautiful eating fish. All you have to do is cut the head off, rip the head backwards, and of course, all the skin comes off, and that is ready to go straight to some alfoil, a little bit of lemon, some salt and pepper, and straight under the grill. A fantastic eating fish as well. Over here, we've got another bycatch that the guys catch with their trawlers that you can sell, and of course, that you can eat. You can only sell if you're commercial, of course. These are the red, spot whiting, generally taken in large numbers off Sydney. Very similar to the diver whiting or the winter whiting, but very sweet. A great eating fish uh, to do for a nice lunch or something like that. You don't get a massive fillet off them, but they are a delicacy. This particular fish here is the Australian salmon. Now, I've always found the salmon to be very bland. The way it can be quite strong, but if you're going to cook it up, a good way to do it is bleed it straight away, try and get as much blood out of it, straighten with some salt and pepper, which is gonna be mixed up into the flour and into a hot pan, flash fry it. Thinner strips would be a great idea as well, just to take out a lot of that strength within the actual fillet. And another bait that I like to use are the yakas. Yep, and great eating as well. Again, take the gut section out, just so you're left with that nice solid piece of meat here. Keep the head on it if you like, use the tail as a dip, coat them in flour, straighten a hot pan, and again, put that up onto the plate. So if you're going out there and you want to try something a little bit different, why not just step aside from your normal bread and butter fish and try something that's just going to be out of your world, out of your realm and out of your comfort zone. And I'll tell you what, you won't be disappointed. And of course, thanks for watching Step Outside YouTube channel for lots of cooking and fishing action. Like, subscribe, and of course, comment for more catches like this and cooking recipes.